All right, ladies and gentlemen, day one of training camp. I'm sorry, this is the first year where I actually have to do other things other than be out there at training camp every day. It's just some things are going on, and I'll let you in on it soon. I still can't, but I'm entirely too busy to be out there every day this year, and that's a very good reason. All right, but day one started yesterday, and the drama begins. Um... First of all, with Jerry giving the um, the pat on the back, the uh, the vote of confidence to Jason Garrett, it's kind of like the kiss of death. If if you, if you know Jerry Jones, he'll give you that. Oh, I'm behind him 100 percent. But as soon as you um, as soon as you start off the season bad, you'll be uh, you'll be canned, and uh, we'll have uh, Coach Callahan watch it. All right. Um, first injury, the the major injury that happened yesterday is Tyron Crawford. It is devastating to Tyrone Crawford because this is his second year. He was looking to improve a lot and to be um, someone that we can depend on as far as depth in our football team. And that's one thing that really that really um, concerns me. I'm, I'm, last year, I was very concerned about the depth. This year, I'm very concerned about the depth. Uh, people like to use injuries as a uh, from last year as an excuse. I will not do that. I will not use injuries as, a, uh, as an excuse. There were teams last year that made it further uh, further than us that had a significant amount of injuries. Also, the, the Baltimore Ravens lost their lost one of the best corners in the league. Lost Nada for a good portion of the season. Lost Ray Lewis for a good portion of the season. Ed Reed was half himself for. Um, for the majority of the season. So they had to deal with a lot of injuries and they overcame them because of depth and made it to the Super Bowl. The Redskins overcame theirs because of depth. We didn't have that depth. So once the injuries went down, we were we were basically uh, playing with people that we pulled off their couch. So this year it worries me that um, our defensive line, which was one of the weaker units when it comes to depth, we lost um, a person that we were looking to look for for some quality minutes. However, I don't know how much. It's devastating to Tyrone Crawford, but I don't know how much, how devastating it is to us because there were some people that I liked last year, maybe a little bit more than Tyrone Crawford, like Ben Bass. I really like Ben Bass. So there, there's people on the team that may be able to... Um, play almost as well as Tyrone Crawford did last year. We were just expecting, since Tyrone's a, 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 a higher draft pick, we were expecting him to make a, a leap this year and show what we saw on draft day um, in, in, in live action. So that that was a big injury, no matter how you look at it, a big injury, very huge to him, and I feel for him, and I pray for him to, to get back on the field and get, and get himself back together. Another injury... Um, and this was the main reason why I, I kind of kind of lost it on draft day about not not getting a, a defensive lineman early uh, was Jay Ratliff, and I, again I, I love Ratliff as much as anyone as much as anyone, but Ratliff has not given us very much lately in the in the past couple of years because of injuries. So I mean, there's a practical point to look at this. Why would you? expect so much from a player that hasn't been there because of injuries and he's getting up in age so to to depend on the fact that that Ratliff's going to be there for 16 games and 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 be an all pro or be very good or whatever that, that a lot of people are doing to depend on that it's kind of um it's kind of not dealing with reality Reality is he's been hurt. He's been hurt for a while. He has the um, the DUI thing that may or may not. I don't think it, it, he will get suspended, but he could. You know that there's there's so many things that you know um, point to we might need to have someone uh, a quality person behind Ratliff ready just in case Ratliff can't go for any possible reason. So uh, that that injury that injury makes me mad because it was something that we could prepare for because we've seen the signs over the last few years um everything else everybody's talking up romo everything every, everyone's uh um saying murray looks good and things like that so and, and th those kind of things will 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 show their face when when the season starts 
We just have to worry about injuries and getting people to understand this new defense and getting our offensive line. Another thing, um, Travis uh, Frederick, he, he's been beaten out basically by, by Costa at center. He, had, he can't overtake Costa at center so, so far. So we're moving him to guard um, and seeing how he looks there. So that kind of worries me also. Uh, e either put him at center and keep him there or why'd you draft him? You know what I'm saying? It just it it, it makes no sense to me. But uh, day one training camp, uh, lots of drama. Uh, I'll I'll be at my Twitter at John Shango all day, so you can you can ask me questions or whatever, and I'll keep my eye on what's going on out there at Oxnard also. All right, I'll let you. Peace.